Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our old craft. In the last episode, we liberated this outpost from the two dragons that was living right over there. As you can see, my inventory is absolutely full. However, multiple people in the comments in the last episode has told me that I'm not quite done down here in this area. But before I explore that, I want to go home and, well, empty my inventory because I do have quite a lot of stuff on me. And yeah, th yeah, let's just go home and empty the inventory and get sorted. Also, this winter situation with the temperature, really, really not cool. That is why I really want to get the RC leggings liner. Because if I could get that, it's just it's going to self-adjust the temperature on my armor. However, to make it, it's uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take quite a bit. Mainly heating goo, which is um, well dangerous to get, considering I need to go to the Nether to get it and fight lasers, and I can't even survive in the old world. So yeah, home sweet home. Time to get sorted. Well, kind of sorted. This is not being that much sorted. Um, yeah, I need I need to organize my inventories. Chests, mainly. Well, hold on a minute. I actually do have two blaze rods. Could con turn, turn them into some blaze powder. However, I still wouldn't have enough. That would only give me four and I would need seven in total in order to get the leggings liner. Well, I guess better being halfway than not being close whatsoever. Also, in the last episode, I managed to get the creatures, uh, give me a minute, the nymph to basically level 1000, creature knowledge for nymph. However, as I have been told, I won't be able to summon it. As you can see right here, the mob is not present, and that is because it is a, what's it called again, a merge? A, a mix? Basically, you need two different creatures that will then go together and it will become that. So unfortunately, I at the moment cannot spawn any helpers to heal me, which I guess makes sense, since that would be in our old craft maybe a little bit overpowered, quote unquote. I'm very happy, however, that the blue fellas over by the outpost is there, because they are really good to help you in combat situations. And in fact, they are one of the creatures required to summon or to mer merge, uh, get the nymph. <laughs> They're one of the creatures you need for that. I forgot, I meant to bring my horse, because I'm sick of walking all the way. Also, I said I would eat this chocolate bar as a celebration. Nom. I also now have a Chaos Orb charge in my inventory. Don't know when that got there. I'm not gonna worry about it. It's our old craft. You should be able to call your horse using a whistle. You do not have a personal horse. Yes, I do. So apparently I need to press... Wait, that. No, uh, hold on. Right, P, personal horse. And I should be able to now call it from, I think, anywhere in the world. And if it's not within range, I'm pretty sure it's going to teleport. So that is pretty handy. This has definitely made the journey a lot less painful. And we're here already. Perfect. Let me just go ahead and grab you real quick. Cool. You're very loud, however. All right. Now to this basement. I did enter this basement in the last episode. However, I've been told that I didn't find everything. And I was given a bit of a hint to potentially just casually do that. Oh. Hmm. Looks like someone um, missed out on some details there. It's fine. It happens. <laughs> what we got here? Kind of scorched. That's a button. I assume for getting out. An enchanting area. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I did not know there would be treasure in here. Okay. Wow. Have I found... Oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, requirements of magic 12. I have not gotten many points into magic. But that's cool. A fully... I don't know if it's a full one, but definitely an enchantment area. 
that is a really really a good find because that will come in handy most likely also I am slowly ever so slowly please oh well uh, this is a problem right press button pick up items press and then place and place perfect <clears throat> kinda K kinda there we go but now I'm wondering if there are any others or is that the only one? I mean, it would make sense that that would be the only one. Otherwise, it would be a little bit big. But I just want to make sure. Okay. Nope. We're good. Well, thank you to everyone who told me that. Because otherwise, I would have missed out on all this loot. Speaking of which. I'm going to sleep. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Hello. I hate those guys. I will actually grab all the arrows from the place as well before I leave. Because I will be using them most likely. Then I don't have to waste eh, feathers on that when I need them for making bolts. Crossbow bolts specifically. I'm gonna try and call my horse now. Don't exactly know where it is. Let's take a look at the bounty board. Bounty, common, required. Okay, that's just a villager. Uh, rewards, warp scroll, cave spider kills, a bunch of different things. Not something I think I'm really interested in doing right now. I'm still gathering resources for myself. Where did my horse go? I don't know where it is. People did also tell me to be sure to pick up these because I can use them to make lockpicks and as we saw a few episodes ago golden lockpicks does the job just fine let's try calling the horse again it just doesn't show up i thought it would i thought you could summon it from different places and now i've completely lost it where's my horse ah the horse was invisible i had to reload the world for the horse to appear so it does work i apparently just have some sort of issue all right now back home again again cleared the inventory and i would love to continue exploring from this outpost and see what we can find i would really love to get a battle tower that way i could get some more levels however before we do that i in the last episode managed to get defense up to 16 which means i'm now able to wear diamond armor question is is it going to be worth it probably yes I just hope that I get something good like that, plus two locational. Let's see what we get here on the chest plate. Okay, it's good. <laughs> as long as it's not negative stats that we get heavy. Okay, we need to reroll that on the table over there. And nothing extra on that. Good. Let us try and reroll this. This could be... Oh, this could be very expensive. Um, ooh. Ooh, okay, good, very good. Basically, this armor is going to be really good. Only issue is, of course, midwinter. Can't wear it for very long. I have to wear my wool armor. But that means I can go ahead, organize this, and put my iron armor in here as spare. I would like to raid some of the ships that we've seen out there in the ocean. However, that requires me, well, it doesn't require me, but I would like to have my armor on for that. And I, again, can't have that because then I'll freeze to death. So I think exploring a little bit more is going to be a really good idea. All right, the sun is shining. I think we are ready to head out. Just equip my horse with some diamond horse armor and we are off. I'm planning to basically, I think, just go due north from here. Let's keep going in this direction. Just got to be careful of dragons. This is where we slayed, I believe, our second dragon. Yep, completely destroyed this house and this place. Now we're continuing. Finding a village would be really... Cool. <laughs> yeah, finding a village would be really cool, but also, like I said earlier, a battle tower would be really ideal as well. You are not going anywhere, pal. Ah, I thought that was a dragon, but no, it's a hippogriff. Hopefully it's not... Okay. 
I have hypothermia, even though I am wearing wool armor on the back of a horse and I'm being pulled back with some lag. That's not good. I'm also in the mountainous area, which is not good. I need to get out of here. I see some ruin over there. Yep. Anything to get me out of this this place. There we go. <laughs> good. B very good. That isn't good, though. That's dragon shootings. That's definitely dragon markings. Uh, have I marked anything on this? I haven't even been this far. Oh, there it is. It's coming this way, coming this way, coming this way, coming this way. <laughs> uh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Why are there so many dragons in the area? I don't get it. Ah, dragon. Again. Aye, aye, aye. Well, we do still have this. Ooh, you scared the living daylights out of me. Hippogriff. Come on now. Okay, I heard spiders, so it's not a friendly place. I mean, when is anything ever friendly in, in our old craft? Well, I can't proceed in that direction, and this is just mountains. Ah, we do have an entrance here. Uh, do I... Oh, that's dark. That's dark. Yeah, this seems like a bad idea, potentially. I'll mark it as a place of interest. Uh, 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 question mark. Dungeon thingy. Yes. Well, gonna keep going, just not in that direction. I feel like wherever a dragon could spawn, a, drag a, a dragon has spawned. It, it can't be right that I need to kill a dragon every four chunks. <laughs> that seems a bit much. Uh, we have more fire over here, but I don't think that's from... We have llamas. I don't think that's from dragon activity. In fact, there's a small house down there. Uh, don't know what we got in it, if we got anything interesting. Nope. Just an empty house. Ooh, but we do have a waystone. We do have a waystone. Can I pick this up? And now the horse is just invisible. That's a very annoying bug. Yeah, I can't break this, but I can activate it. That means I can always teleport to this place and find my way home. And I see a structure over there. So my horse is gone. Uh, well, it's not gone. It's still here. It's just invisible. Could be the shaders that's doing it, so I'll just proceed on foot, I think, for now. Ooh, we're just above this hill. We got something over there. I don't know what that is. Oh, we got a battle tower and a ruined barn thing behind it, but we got the battle tower. That's really good. And we got a hippogriff. That's fine. As long as it's not a dragon and as long as it's not hungry. I will pick up the sign, though, that is in these clusters, because can't have too much of it. However, there isn't that much. Oh, now my Here it is. Bad. 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 Free chain there. Free chain there. <laughs> Almost killed me. Now the hippogriff could ruin my day here. I hope it won't. Please. Die. Hippogriff. Okay, I think we're good. Just gonna get a little bit of healing here. Thank you. And that is why you don't stand right up to the ore that you mine, just in case. <laughs> we actually have quite a few of these rocks here in the area. That's very good. What's that? That's a ginormous tree. Wow. Now this battle tower, is it one filled with spawners or is there loot in it as well? That hippogriff is really, really loud, by the way. What do we have here? Oh, is this one of those dungeons? I think it might be one of those dungeons. If it is, I'm not gonna enter it, because I have one in my house already. What on earth is this leading? Yeah, I think... Yep, that's the dungeon. Not interested. What I am interested in is this weird tower. And potentially that house. Potentially. Uh, not right now. Potentially. Uh, that's a dragon. That's a dragon. That, that music. 
I recognize those wings. That's a dragon. That's most definitely a dragon. That's unfortunate. Right as we find a battle tower, there is a dragon guarding it. Hopefully I'm far enough away. That was definitely a dragon I saw, though. All of this is in the way. But I guarantee you that was a dragon. Don't know what this structure is. I think I know what that is. I'm sure I saw a dragon. Yeah, right there. <laughs> I can't get much closer than that, so I can't explore that until I get rid of that dragon. However, what do we have here? Some sort of... Oh, I suppose it looks interesting. Hold up. Shield up. What on earth? Huh. I mean, there's a spawner. But... That looks to be about it. Not gonna risk it for that. Also, it is turning night time. And that house looks cozy. There's more iron over there. Ooh! Hello! Yep! Door was already open. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll definitely take the coal. Put the marble and stone away. Uh, wheat. Yep, I can use that for more bread. That is very useful, in fact. I can sleep here. However, I don't want to set my spawn here. That would be bad. I will take this, though. Yep. And the redstone. Yep. And I'm going to sleep using a sleeping bag. So, there's another dragon over here. Um, unfortunately. However, there is a battle tower. But I am afraid that it's too close to the dragon. I mean, I could stand by the house, but I don't think I can be by the battle tower without the dragon seeing me and noticing me. I'm gonna try and stand over there by the tree and see what happens, but... I mean, the fire is right there. So... Yeah, that's very close. That is extremely close. I could potentially do it, though. Don't know if it's gonna notice me. It would be very close. If it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Right. Got that far. Right. Ooh, wait a minute. Blazes. Hold up. I don't have my arm on. I don't have my arm on. Don't have my arm on. Don't have my arm on. But. Blazes. Ah, good. Oh, and that turned to ice immediately. Okay, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Please die. I cannot die here. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. I do now have... Blaze rods. And a plaster. <laughs> I'll take it. I think I'm going... To go home... With this stuff. Get my bolts. Get some more, if I can, from my chickens. Take down that dragon, so we can properly take out that battle tower. I think that's going to be worth it. That's what we've been doing, after all. Uh, so far, taking out dragons so we so that we can explore and get to this kind of thing. Because we need to level up and level up big time. Oh, that's my horse. No longer invisible, apparently. Maybe I need to leave the render distance chunks. That's fine. Alright, let's head home. Before I do, though... Skills, attack, I want to be able to use diamond weapons very soon. I should get magic up so I can do enchanting as well. That's going to be really beneficial. What? I just came back here. I, li I literally just got home here. That... Ow! <laughs> that... That can't be right. N no. No, no. That... <laughs> this can't be right. Um... 
We may have a. Is that is that a glitch? That there is a sleeping dragon underneath here. I. Oh boy. Because I can pretty much promise you that dragon hasn't been there before until now. Twenty-seven feathers are not bad. I'm quickly gonna make some more bolts. Don't know if I'm gonna need them here and now. Oh what? I sincerely hope not. Okay, two sacks of bolts. Sounds good to me. Okay, so I think the plan is definitely grab my horse. Ride over here towards the ravine. I would think is probably not a safe distance. The portal. I'm gonna go over to the portal. Just like right here. Bump right a distance up. Let's see what happens. My heart is actually pounding right now. Because that would not be good. And I don't see anything from here as such. That's the floating castle. I don't even remember exactly where I saw it. This is eerie. I think. Because I don't see anything. And it would be weird if there was a dragon all of a sudden spawning in. So I think what it might have been. Was a glitch. When I loaded in the chunks. No. Okay, we have a problem. It's actually there. But that's a that's a state that's a that's a stage five. That's a that's a stage five that has broken out. What? What? On earth? What on earth is this? Okay, and if I need a quick heal, if you could please. Okay, so it's over there. So is that a stage five? That's definitely a stage five. <laughs> is that a stage five that has broken out of the underground cave area, maybe? Oh, we have a problem. Here I was just casually doing stuff. Guys, I'm gonna disable the shaders real quick. Because, uh... <laughs> I need all the performance I can get for this one. And I accidentally pressed reset keys. <laughs> uh, Alright. This could be out. This could be the fight of our lives. I... Okay, I need, I need to... Get everything ready and I have an idea. I need my diamond armor for this just in case I get hit. And I have to plan for it. I can't believe that a dragon... That's a definitely a stage 5 from the size of it. Definitely. I am going to make the Aussie armor... Uh, yep, yeah, that's what... Yep, yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm definitely going to make the, uh, the Aussie armor. I think I have everything I... No, I don't. I need string. But I can get that with a knife. I think we're good. Basically, I need to make this. Which means I need to make 7 of these. Which means I need to make seven of these and seven of these. Which means I need seven of this, which means I need seven times six of that. Um, oh, I need slime balls. Okay, I do have slime balls. Enough for eight. Oh, but I need slime balls for this as well. I don't think I have enough. I might not have enough. Ooh, but I do get two per operation. So, I would get... I think I have enough, actually, to make everything. All I need is the string, which I can get from punching grass with the knife. Which should be fairly easy. Do over here. Just be careful of weird creatures spawning. Alright. Let's see. Converting it to blaze powder. Going to make warming liner. Heating goo. I need one, two, three... This much exactly that much and then I need to combine it with this can I use normal can I use any normal string oh no 
Uh, I have sheep. I have sheep. I have sheep. That actually makes my job a whole lot easier. I have sheep. And I already have some wool, which I think I can place down. And not break like this. Maybe in here then. <laughs> a little bit stressing. Stressing out a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, of course I can do that. I don't need the knife of wool. What am I thinking? A sheep. Thank you very much. This is going to... Yep, this means a lot. All right, let's try this again. So, this in here, I need seven of each. So, hopefully the sheep will eat some grass. Now I need the cooling, which is the cooling goo. And I need either frost powder. Well, I actually do need frost powder, apparently. Um, oh, frost rods. Are you kidding me? No, I don't have any of that, unfortunately. I have two cooling goos. I'm so close of being able to make this. I really thought that I could make this. Wow. Well, I, I can make half. <laughs> Leggings warm liner. Yep. Uh, that's annoying. I didn't know it was frost powder. Which you can only get from frost rods, which I assume you need to kill some sort of snow blazers. Whatever. I'm just gonna have to make do with what I got. Which currently is this. Time to defend our home, ladies and gentlemen. First plan of action. Climb this mountain over here. Raise render distance to 16 so I can keep an eye on things. And it's going to be over there somewhere. Bag. Alright. So we saw it over there. Yep, that is glitching in and out. I'm gonna jump over to the other side here. Climb this so I have a vantage point. I mean, thankfully it hasn't started attacking my animals or something like that straight off the bat. That would be really, really bad. Uh, but again, I'm not gonna speak too soon because I don't know exactly what it will be doing. I think the trees are. Definitely not on my side here doing this. Really, I would like to get up there, but then it's gonna get probably too close. Don't know. I don't see it. Mm. Yeah. Maybe it's moved off. It does actually. It's actually flying away. Hold up! It's flying away from here. Well, that's not good if it's just going to roam the area. Yep, I just saw it by that tree. That is, it's just roaming around. It doesn't have a boundary like the other ones, which means it could come back literally at any point. Oh my, it's not roaming around. That was a different one. Open fire. <laughs> That might have been a little bit too optimistic. <laughs> I might have been a little bit opt too optimistic there. Hypothermia is kicking in. Uh, this is not ideal dragon fighting situations. Okay, so it's right back there. Obviously. It's kind of flying low. It's right there. Game is lagging. Game is lagging, okay. Game is still, it's actually lagging a lot, the game. Oh, wow, hello, hello. Right, I'm gonna do what I do best. Make a campfire in emergency situations. I hope the dragon doesn't spot me. I mean, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem super bothered about attacking the environment. I might die here, I might die here, yep. I might die. I might die. I might die. I think I'm gonna die. Go away. Please tell me I can break this down. Break it down faster. Then I of course need this here. And uh, yep. Uh, now it's even worse. Now I have to get back to my items without having the ability to jump or, well, having the balloon to jump and 
I need to find the exact spot quickly. <laughs> Found it. Found it. We're good. We're good. All is good. Okay, fire has been started. Uh, equip bubbles again. <laughs> oh man. I don't think the fire is enough to keep me alive. I'm gonna have to leave. Oh, I'm gonna die again though. I'm gonna die again. Yep. 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 Yep, yep. Alright. Back here again. Grab everything. And this time, just leave ASAP before it happens again. I just cannot be in a cold biome at this time of year. And that's the issue. The dragon is in an icy area that I need to be in in order to even have a remote chance of fighting it. It's a stage five. I mean, oh man. Right guys, I think I'm going to call this an episode here. I need some time to think and I would love feedback from you guys down below in the comments. What do you think of the situation as well? Because that was, um, that was weird. It definitely glitched out. I mean, clearly. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of the situation down below in the comments. If you have any suggestions, please do not hesitate to let me know. I'm going to come up with a plan in between episodes. Um, I hope anyway. And, well, next episode we're going to be taking that on. We definitely has a, have a crisis on our hands. It is late winter. And if I just play with two render distance, the dragon, I don't think... It's going to come from my house, which is good, but yeah, also this RC armor, I do have a question about it. Combined with chest plate on a crafting grid to add self-adjusted temperature lining. Single installed, you only need one. You only need one. Per armor. Set. Per armor set. Temperature just lining mild hold on hold on okay so normally i would be freezing right now but it's actually not going down in temperature hold on i need to test this now i'm outside i'm running around i'm obviously getting heat from running around but what if i get into a cold biome what then let's see Okay, it is getting colder. Am I going to get hypothermia though? Or is it going to keep my body temperature decent? That's the question. Okay, this is starting to get cold. I haven't gotten hypothermia just yet. So, so far so good. I've just been standing still. It does say temperature adjustment, adjust lining is mild. Don't I don't know if there's a way of changing that. I just saw the arrow go down again. Either way, it is definitely hindering or slowing down the process a lot. And as soon as I move, it changes as well down there. So that has definitely given us, I wouldn't say an upper hand, but nor an advantage, but better odds. Now I can run around in my diamond armor without having to worry. <laughs> this is awesome. I didn't know you just needed the one piece. All right, guys. Yes, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to set up a plan for the next episode. Let me know your ideas and thoughts down below in the comments. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, th this is a tough one. But I'm glad it didn't start shooting the house and shooting up everything. Um, but yeah. Like I said, that's going to be it for this one. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode, because definitely that's going to be a juicy one. But yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until then, goodbye. Oh dear me. <laughs> uh.